Well, now I've completed the setup of the tent body. Uh, I've also put on the, uh, the ground cloth, the footprint. And then there's the issue of this brow pole, which is primarily used to hold up the, uh, the tent fly. And I didn't look at the direction, so I'm just assuming it's supposed to go over the top of these other two poles. I think it would be kind of loose if, it's, if it was in here. So that's why I went over the top, and now that makes, makes the tent seem pretty darn stable. And uh, we have one of the nicest features of this tent, which is the uh, gigantic uh, door on this one side. The other side has a more conventional door, which, you know, it's still a big door, but it's not, uh, not the absolute monstrous size of the other one. And this, this one just, just uh, unzips as, as uh, many other tents do, as you can imagine. But this one has four zippers. So, this is quite a tent door here. You can just use like a regular conventional door like this and just unzip it part way. Or if you want to go with the absolute max, see there's two more zippers over here. So you could you know you could do all kinds of crazy stuff here. You could fully unzip it. If you fully unzip it, now you have a gigantic opening. Uh, I assume like if you wanted to bring in your backpack or something that might be helpful. Of course I'm not a backpacker so but still, it's kind of nice. You have a lot of options with a door like this. Pretty interesting.